I'm your host, Ron Knight. And I'm John Williams III, co-host of the show. Join us for the Entertainment First podcast every week. It's all about the music and more. Punching it in. We're punching it in right now, ladies and gentlemen. You are about to listen to and view the Entertainment First podcast, where it is all about the music and a whole lot more. And right now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to meet a beautiful person who is involved in helping women. She's a network marketing professional. And also, she's a cooking show personality. Uh-huh. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our show, Entertainment First Podcast, where it's all about the music and a whole lot more. Miss Cheryl Brasher Dobish, how are you? Great, thank you so much for having me. Mm, no, that's good. Cool. Awesome. Kimberly, yeah, Kimberly was telling me about you. She, she, had, she mentioned um, you to me several times. She found me on Facebook. And, and you know, it's really funny. You know how you sometimes look at people and you think, wow, where have I seen this person before? Uh-huh. So maybe that's why I saw you before on your cooking show. Maybe I just popped up. You just popped up. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. Was, well, anyway, look, I just want to ask you a couple of questions that uh-huh. I'm sure you'll feel very comfortable with. And that is, how did you get involved with, first, we'll take one of them first. And that is, how did you get involved with... Uh, not that it's you got to be a brainiac to figure that out, but how did you get involved in, in the cooking show personality? Well, that's a good question, and it's a bit of a story because what what was happening is I had um, all of my life I was overweight, and I had tried everything, and I was the kind of person that you know if there was some sort of diet thing available <laughs> that someone told me about, I was. I'll try, I'll it. try it. Yeah. In fact, you know, I used to live in in um, British Columbia, and I used to fly nine. Well, it was like nine hundred kilometers. So what is that in miles? I don't know. But I would fly from the northern miles. British Columbia town to Vancouver, rent a car, and drive over to Bellingham to buy at Rite Aid their diet pills. Wow. I was desperate. And so what happened like is... Like what, what kind of weight were you carrying at that time? Well, only about 50 pounds, but you see yeah. it's different. I mean, it's not like I was 500 pounds, right. but it's different for everybody. Mm-hmm. And I was fat since I was 10. Oh, right. So, so what happened is about a year and a half ago, I came across this product, this little thing right here. Mm-hmm. And um, I started to lose weight. And then I realized that, okay, I needed to... It's not a diet, so I needed to eat right, and I developed my own, like I called it medi keto. So a little bit of keto, because not all that fat, and a, a lot of Mediterranean, mm-hmm. low carbs, low sugar, really just good, healthy eating. So then I had all these customers. They wanted to know, well, what are you doing? Like, right. head's working. Like, you're looking like this. I would be on the escalator down on the strip taking pictures, and I was looking different. So um, I started a cooking show. Far out. It's and a lot of fun. So what's your t- cooking show about? What do you present? What, the kind of food that I cook? Yeah. I mean, the kind of food that I eat. Yeah. That I eat, yeah. And so I'll have, you know, whatever it is. Maybe I'm making um, a dinner dish or a lunch dish or a salad or um, chicken or whatever it is. It's, it's, um, and so sometimes I do that show. It's, it's Cooking with Cheryl and on Facebook. And sometimes I do it daily but lately i haven't so i'll get back into that and it's a lot of work to do a cooking show but yeah, it's a lot right. of fun it's very, very rewarding because you see what the problem that people have they're just like i was we didn't know what to eat mm. and you automatically think well when you when you think about losing weight you think oh i'm on a diet i can't have instead of the, all the things that i can can have, have yeah and it's not about a diet it's about a lifestyle right right yeah. right that that that's really a, <laughs> i mean i haven't ever had to deal with it because uh, you know i'm pretty active and, and things just it just doesn't happen it's metabolism yes yeah, metabolism some people's metabolism it's it's hormones and metabolism mm. and this just does it for both 
Oh, yeah. and, and what is that? What well, this showing? is actually a cup of coffee, and it says on here mood enhancing, appetite control, and extreme energy. And it does that. There's brain. This works on your brain endorphins. There's no other coffee like this. It's mm. just like a regular cup of delicious coffee. And does it keep the? Does it keep you from having a larger appetite? Yeah, it's, it it makes you not hungry. It gives you more energy. You just it works on your happiness hormones. You just right. feel good. So what what? It, and there's another product that goes with that, which is capsule but what it really did for me is it changed my relationship with comfort food because you know when you get stressed like everyone is stressed mm -hmm. today you get stressed and then you think oh let me make a grilled cheese sandwich yeah, right. or let me make some chocolate gravy yeah. a because everybody's eating yeah. the taste you know? exactly yeah. like it's like oh I need it I need to give myself something good so it's like I'm being deprived, so let me have it. Right. Well, it takes that away, and which right. has been amazing for me. Right. And so then from, from that, I started um, 180 Day to the New Me. So that 180 days is like six months. So you set goals for it, too, as well. Yes. And so the 180 Day is really writing my story. So at the end of the year, I'll have my book done of 180 Days to the New Me and how I totally changed myself and my health, <clears throat> and it has a huge part to do with our mindset. All right. Because yeah, without a, that... Is that on? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no worries. Go ahead. Did you uh, have something to say, John? Yeah. I was just saying you must get a lot of energy from there, from from here out, too, yeah. you know, with everything going on. Yes. I, I love it. Uh, it's great. And it's really fun. You know, it's funny because, um, you know, it doesn't matter whether you're, you're, you're uh, big or thin, everybody eats for taste. They do. You know, but and I agree with you. you know, a lot of people say, oh, you know, I can't eat that, I can't eat this, and I can't eat that. But I even find out, even with my, my own weight, there are certain days I can eat certain things. Mm -hmm. And then on other days, I'll, I may not even want it, but I'll get a craving for it. Sure. And I think that's, that's part of where people have mm -hmm. uh, trouble, because they're not sure, you know, whether, oh, should I have those Twizzlers? Mm -hmm. Or maybe I shouldn't have it today. Or maybe, mm -hmm. oh, you know what? I'm going to have it. As a matter of fact, I'm going to have it when I watch that movie tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah. I, I'm, it, does that make sense? Yes, it does. And nowadays I make those kinds of things as a, as a reward, a right. treat. So I tell myself I'm going to do certain things, and then on that particular day I can have that reward. And they're a lot more delicious, too, aren't they? Yeah, they are. When you don't and, eat it all they, the time. Y yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, now... Where do you think your big, biggest successes come with, um, with what you're doing right now? I think, uh, this may sound completely crazy, but I think it's all to do with mindset. Because, and I've studied mindset a lot, and I, I, it goes back many, many years, because I grew up in Oklahoma with, with really virtually nothing. And, <laughs> right. you know, all through that time... Farm? Yeah, uh, all through that time, I did a lot of visualization. I would imagine all kinds of things that weren't even close, <laughs> but I was, I had them in my brain. Right. And so it just went on from there. And as I grew older, I was married very young. I have three kids and seven grandchildren. They're all Canadians. Right. And um, it just went on from there. And so because I've been able to carry that on and really change my own mindset mm -hmm. in in um, because what we think about is what we attract so it's like when one you know well I could give you lots of examples that are happening right now but I probably won't mm -hmm. but but it's no, like, I, no I, I get I it's, get yeah. definitely where you come so from. that would be my greatest right. success is being able to control what I'm thinking and change the mindset mm -hmm. all right Good, John. You have a you want to expound on that? Well, no. I mean, it's everything she's saying is great because you know it does start with trying to put your mind and focus on the right thing to lose the weight and doing what you want and what's good for you, healthy wise too. Mm -hmm. It's like me. I, I drink a lot of diet Pepsi, and as of last night, I said I'm going to, when I'm done with this, I'm not going to drink no more. Good for you, you know, and I'm going to drink more water, other things, so I can leave, lose my weight and uh, be healthy. But you know, eating the right things too is right. very, very important. Yeah, um, look, there's no doubt about it um, that eating the right, I, I, as a matter of fact, I just had a friend uh, 
text us uh, on Facebook. And if you're listening right now, uh, Kelsey, this is funny that you sent this to me last night because Kelsey has uh, been dealing with stomach problems her whole life. Oh, I've had that. Issue. Yeah, and, and you know, it's really funny. Uh, about a week ago, uh, I had been having them too. And the minute I changed and did the right thing, all the pain went away. Mm -hmm. So that's what a lot of people are going through right now. Their mindset is, you know, I, I see that pizza. It looks good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to tear it up right now. Yeah. And it's stress that does it. And then they keep doing it over and over again because mm -hmm. they get the taste for it, you know. Yeah. But she said, she said, look, I, I, I think she's come to the reality that she can't keep eating the way she's been eating. Mm -hmm. And it was nice to hear that from her today because I know she's, she's, a, she's, she's a lovely girl. She, she thinks of herself as a vampire. <laughs> but she's, she's funny. She's really funny and she's uh -huh. lovable. But I do know that um, she's coming to the point where she's starting to realize that it's not worth sacrificing your health you no. know, with a bunch of junk food. If we don't have our health, we don't have anything. Mm. And sometimes, you know, people don't, they don't think about that. Mm. Now, have you had success in, I mean, with the, with the business part of it? Yes. Have, you, have you had some reasonable success with, with the it? network marketing business? Yes. Part? Absolutely. Yeah. It's, and, you know, that's another thing is I believe that everyone, especially today, but everyone needs to have their own some sort of a home-based business because, of their own. yeah, because then you are in control right. of, of even if it's just that little portion of that income, right. you're in control of it because otherwise we don't have any control. No, that's right. None, yep, none you don't. whatsoever. That's right. I mean, I think back in March where we were all, you know, in quarantine in our own homes, and it was like, what? Are but see, I was fine because Me I too. had. I had my business and mm -hmm. I was busier than ever. Yeah. So during this time, it's been it's, it's been, been incredible. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I think a lot of people really had that's another mindset thing, see, mm -hmm. because so many people are, are relying on. You know, I look at it. I look at it like a lot of people rely on people to save them. Yes, unfortunately. You know, mm -hmm. and you gotta save I, I don't. I really. I've, I never, I can never get behind that, and I'll tell you why. And I got a good reason because it happened to me when I was really, really young. My father, I asked my father for, he, he used to give us about, and the day was about fifteen or twenty cents, yeah. so you can go to the candy store and get stuff, right? Yeah. And I remember saying to him one day, Dad, are you going to give us a little bit? I'm going to inch it up a little bit. And he looked at me and he smiled and he said. Yeah, I'm going to inch it up for you. He said, you see that shoe shine box right there? He said, I'm going to show you how you, not only am I going to do that, so I'm going to show you how to pay your rent for the rest of your life. So I got the shoe shine box. It had the liquid, the shoe shine polish, the rag, and the brush. Yeah. Every Thursday, all the guys from, you know, industry got paid. They would always go to the tavern just on their way to home to have a beer. Yeah. On Friday... They was ready to roll with their ladies out in the nightclub. Mm -hmm. Saturday they would go out, and on Sunday they would go to church, and they wanted those shoes spick and span. <laughs> I made a fortune doing that. I'd take it home, and then my father would take his hand and go, because I had stuff, other stuff in, in my shoe. Oh. <laughs> you know? So you cheated a lot. Yeah, right. And he'd say, there's the rent. He'd say, that, he, yeah. he would say, there's the rent. And there's uh, your stuff. He said, you will never have that a problem paying. That was a good paying. lesson. Yeah, he said, you'll never have a problem paying your rent. And that is true. Yeah, you know, that's so right. I know my son asked me recently, he said, oh, I want to send my son to private school. I said, really? Really? Mm -hmm. See, now, I would definitely contribute to that. But it's got to be a school of finance. Teach them how to use a dollar before they even get to use it. Yeah. You know, because exactly. that, that's never taught no. in school, right? No. Far, you know, far out. Yeah. Uh, the funniest moment in the experience that you've actually had in your business, if you could think of something, the funniest thing that ever happened oh to you during, during the time that you were either overweight or, or underweight, doesn't matter. Overweight or underweight. 
I don't know. The there's, funniest there's time. There's probably been a ton of those times that... Um, what would you say would be the funniest? Probably one of the times that I was, you know, doing one of my cooking shows mm -hmm. and um, I suddenly had to stop it all because I had to go get to the bathroom. <laughs> and so what did I do? I had to turn everything off and just go. Then I went back and came back and restarted it and had to apologize. I'm so sorry I had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like me sometimes. <laughs> Well, you do it. You do it quite often. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, when you're drinking a gallon you. of water a day, sometimes you just have to. Yeah. Yeah, but you'd be drinking a uh, diet Pepsi. I do dry Pepsi, uh, water, and there's a time no, like I go about every for. I mean, and not try to sound bad. Like I go take a go pee pee. How's that? And, uh, but it's like. What is that? Go pee pee. Go <laughs> pee pee. But but it's like wow. This like for 30 seconds a minute. And it's like lately, it's been like every forty-five minutes to an hour. Yeah. It's like wow. What's but you going drink on? a lot too, don't you? Yeah. yeah. It's like wow. This is, you know. Now let me. Can but I, that's I, why I'm going to water now instead of having the yeah. soda. Oh, it's gonna be worse than water. I can tell you, water comes. I'll tell you, that's one of the reasons. That's one of the things I have with beer. I don't see why anybody would ever have a kidney problem drinking beer, because it goes in me and out just like that. But I was going to say to you, with water, it goes in and me out there, call me Niagara John. <laughs> <laughs> Not false. <Yeah. laughs> what well, I was going to say is, um, a lot of people have a misnomer about diet Pepsis and diet sodas. That's the worst one. It is. That's the worst one. It has what yeah. they call a Spartame in it. So full of chemicals. Yeah, it's full. You know, that's why you probably... That's probably That's why you were having that. some some issues before, because your consumption of um, of uh, carbonated waters that have I mean carbonated sodas that have that in it. Right. Yeah. So that would be one yeah. of the major issues. It is. You yeah. know, like. Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Check out. <laughs> okay. My man said, "Yeah, it is. Let me have one right now." <laughs> <laughs> I think he had a big needle up there and he's injected himself. <laughs> so you know how what would be what would be what would be some of the effort? <laughs> yeah, I'm on my last one, so you know. Wait a second, I gotta be right back. That's a, re that's a reward. Huh? That's a reward. Is he broken? That's his reward. It's a reward for something good. Well, he has that about that every one. hour. He rewards himself every hour. <laughs> Uh, what would you say, and what kind of advice would you give some of the young people coming through oh. that might be experiencing that, you know? Because we got a lot of kids that are out there that are, you know, kind of uh, obese too as well. Actually, you know, I was, um, I was in a place today where I saw a family and the little, I was at Summerlin, I was in mm -hmm. the Apple store. And um, the family, it was a dad and mom, and uh, they were a bit overweight, and then there was three kids, and they were all, like, and they were just little, little kids. kids. And so, diabetes is yeah. running rapid in mm. with the kids, and it's all mm -hmm. the diet. Yeah. And so, but it all has to start with the mom and dad. Right. And they have to change what they bring into the house. And so, um, it's just a really big issue with young people. And you know, a lot of the stores sell it, because I can tell you, look, I'm, I'm a, um, I really like chicken, you know. I would prefer a lot of the times to eat it fried. Oh, but like most of us Yeah, it. right. <laughs> but I noticed that most of the stores that you go in now also do fried chicken, right? So they, you know, they know something. Yeah. But I, was, I went to buy a pizza yesterday, and it was actually a New York pizza, the kind mm -hmm. that's really good. The guy... He kind of educated me yesterday on, on the bread. Mm -hmm. And he said to me, he said, you want to know why people are having a lot of problems? He was the guy that does the. Make he said, the I found a way in the bread. He said, and the reason people are having a lot of problems is because of the amount of gluten in the bread. He said, it used to be that the gluten product that they put in there was only about 5 to 8%. It is now 75% gluten. Yeah. And that's that's really kind of frightening when you think about it because that's why those kids are, and, and they're putting it in chicken, wow. 
They do it in the fried chicken. They do it everywhere. Every, everything you is know. gluten. I my mm. diet is completely gluten free, mm. and it's hard to do that, but right. it's possible. And so I use almond flour or coconut flour. Or coconut flour instead. And so how's, you the, make, how's the coconut flour? Is it good? It's good. It's very good. Because it's, I've it's seen it in stores making. quite a bit. But you, but I, <clears> I like I like fried chicken, and yeah. so I would uh, just roll it, dip it in egg, and roll it in. Um, Coconut. In coconut or almond flour, and right. you still have a nice crispy piece of chicken. Right. Okay. But it's gluten free. But you Does see it that is this tasting the same? Yeah, it tastes it tastes even better because you put some spices on it. Right. And so, but you see the thing <clears> is <throat> that the the wheat, which yeah. is where the gluten comes from, is sprayed with Roundup, uh. and and that. That is just deadly. I mean, that's what's causing so many diseases, and and the belly. It's and when you see people that have that, that's the beginning of heart disease. Mm. Yeah, because, so, and yeah, and it, yeah, that's right. Because yeah, it's, ta it's, it's I, taxing everything. Yeah, I really want to get my roommate on. You know, she's my best friend and business mm -hmm. partner. Yeah. I want to try to get her on something like a gluten-free type of thing. Yeah, because she's. I'd say she's overweight, but if she could lose that weight, she won't have many yeah. problems. She just finally got rid of diabetes so about two weeks ago, three <clears> weeks <throat> ago. She, uh, no more diabetic, which I was surprised. You, I, I find that the best way to get people to do certain things is you really can't tell them. You have to show the example. Yeah, you have to set the example. Yeah, set the example and let them watch you. Yeah. And then they'll, hopefully they go, ding! And, it's, and, it, and they utilize it, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. That's right, that's right. No one likes to be told what to do. What information would you share strictly to the younger generation? Well, to the younger generation, I would, first of all, I would, about business, I would share to young people to get a home-based business, to start something, and network marketing is a perfect, perfect right. way to do that. But. You know, all these energy, health wise, what mm -hmm. I would share is all these energy drinks and all this fast food and this extra large sizing change all that. Mm -hmm. You know, gradually every, every day, take one thing out of your diet that mm -hmm. is not good for you and add one good thing. Right. Just one good thing, like eat a piece of fruit mm -hmm. or find something that's organic or find a, a protein bar that has only one gram of sugar in it instead of 35 grams right. of sugar. Because sugar and <clears throat> carbohydrates are what is contributing to our health. And if they do do it, do it as a treat, right? As a treat, yeah. Do it as a treat. Yeah. It'll so, taste so much better. <laughs> so I always, I always say to, my, to the people that I work with, you know, write out your goals. Write out your goals every night. Write out your goals for the next day, what it is that you want to accomplish the next day. Meditation is really, really important. It's hard to get into meditation yeah, when you great. haven't been. And so on YouTube, there's a lot of guided meditations. Right. And some time ago, that's how I started, was with the YouTube guided meditation. Yeah, but you wanted to, see. It's well, I you, wanted to, yes. You wanted to. Yeah. That's a whole, that's another mindset. It is. You really got to, you know, kind of, it's like exercise. On the days that you really don't want to do it, that's when you got to do it. That's when you have to push yourself. Yeah. And so you have to think about why you wanted to do it in the first place. So if you've got that picture of yourself up on the fridge, or you've got that car that you really want to, to buy, or that house that you really want, or those Christmas gifts for those kids, whatever it is, you, you've got to have the why. Power to manifest that. Too, yes. You know. yes. So, uh, Go ahead. So, so real quick here. So you, you do this uh, over the internet, your program. How often is it? Is uh, it every day or? Yeah, it's every day. I'm I'm every day online. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't sure if it was a certain time you had the show. Like, well, I usually have my show uh, in the afternoon. The cooking show is that what you mean? Yeah. Sh uh, cooking with Cheryl. Um, that's a, a Facebook page which you can go and just like the page, um, and that's where it is. And so I usually do that daily, but I haven't been lately, so it will be back to daily. Yeah, that's great. Uh, so what programs would you, are you working on right now, say, for the next year or two? Right now I'm working on a program for the next, this year. Mm -hmm. um, because of the stress that's going on and everything that people are going through, I've, I'm putting together a seven-day course on really how to change your mindset 
to get what you want this year. Oh, uh, over seven days. And I have an ebook that uh, you can get free. It's Magic Mindset as well on my site, which is CherylDobash.com, is my website. And what's your email? CherylDobash at gmail.com. Gmail. Yeah. Want to say that again? CherylDobash at gmail.com. And how do you spell your last name? D O B E S H. Okay. And, and how I spell Cheryl is yeah, right. a and then, You're without the C. Yes, it's S H. E R I A L at Gmail at Gmail dot com yes. and that website again is Cheryl Dobash dot com. Yo. ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to the Entertainment First podcast where we are all about the music and a whole lot more. We'll be right back. A lot more. <laughs> All right, we are back with the Entertainment First podcast where it's all about the music and more. And today we have the lovely Cheryl Bratcher Dobesh right here in our studio. And John, you wanted to have a, you wanted to um, ask Miss Dobesh a question before she left today. Didn't yeah, you? How, just interesting. How did you uh, learn how did about I get this? involved in this? Right. In, in the coffee. Yes. In the coffee. Yes. Well, it was about, it was February a year ago. And I have a friend in, um, in Louisiana and she called me and she said she knew knew that I loved network marketing and I wasn't too happy where I was and I she knew that I had some health things the way that I needed to, wanted to change and so she called me and said that she had found something and it was this and it had completely changed her depression she had gone through a female cancer ovarian cancer and was depressed and gained a hundred pounds and so it was helping her to lose weight it's called the dose, D-O-S-E, and um, so that's how I found out about mm. it. So I ordered um, a trial pack for 30 days, right. and my husband and I started drinking it. I, my husband had been going through some depression as well, mm -hmm. and um, within three days, he was a different guy. And oh, wow. I was feeling like, oh my gosh, this... I've got to take a deeper look at this, <laughs> dig deep. And so I did, I got involved, and I'll never be with anything else. No, right. Last question real quick. Just out of curiosity. <coughs> no, I got one more after okay. this. Okay. Just curious. <laughs> now, that tastes like coffee in the whole nine yards. What if someone doesn't like coffee? Well, we have other beverages, other happiness beverages. We have uh, peach sweet tea, which is delicious. We have vanilla chai tea. And we have hot chocolate. Good. It's so good. And, uh, so we, and we have lemon zest. So we have other choices to go along with the capsule. No, I was just curious because myself, yeah. I, I'm, I was my grandparents tried force me to drink coffee. I never <laughs> liked it since, but uh, they, they raised yeah, me. Instead, he, he yeah. took Pepsi with diet. Diet. Uh, it started off with a <laughs> yeah, diet Pepsi. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, diet Pepsi. Do you have any diet Pepsi in the, in those packs? <laughs> no. Uh, no, I quit that I'm years ago. John will buy out the whole. he will buy out the whole pack. I was addicted years ago, about 20 years ago, to Diet Coke. I'd go to McDonald's. <laughs> you were saying for the Diet Coke? Yeah, for the Diet Coke every morning. She's a Pepsi. She's a Pepsiite, too. She's a Pepsi. No it's diet, so bad huh? for you. No diet. No, no diet. Yeah. I'll take the real you know, sugar look, over the diet. Look, I, look, like she said, there's no reason you can't drink it. It's just that people drink it consistently all the time. Yeah. I believe that you can eat just about anything as long as you're not overdoing it. Am you're I right? right. That's, you're right. Because a lot of people deprive themselves. I've seen people do that where they've deprived themselves of things and only to go back to it anyway. So I'm yeah. going to stop. I'm going to do this. You know, I've seen people with cigarettes do that. I've seen people who have yeah. been on drugs or people, who, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and they say, oh, I'm going to stop. You really got to want to stop yeah. and, and to I change I, the mindset. And I know I do because the fact is I drink a diet Pepsi if I do at night. Now I notice in the last two, mm -hmm. about a week and a half, two weeks, when I sleep at night, my mouth goes dry. Wow. It's like, wow, it's yeah, more dry. Sure. I'm waking up and have to drink water down my throat. And yeah. I mean, it's like, okay, I yeah, see well, what's going on. Those things dehydrate you. Yeah. We say you have to drink water down your throat. Where yeah. are you drinking water, man? <laughs> down my ears. Jesus Christ. Including <laughs> my ear. Dude, you drink, I got to see this. You drinking water down someplace else? I guess so I go. <laughs> <laughs> takes out my nose, too. <laughs> 
right, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps up our interview with the lovely Miss Dobesh. That's right, Cheryl Dobesh and Cheryl Pratchett Dobesh. I, one thing I was going to ask you. Also, you met your husband online, didn't you? Yes, I did. How did that happen? You know, just briefly. Uh, well, just briefly. I, I was looking for the right husband for 13 years. Mm -hmm. My uh, kid's dad is deceased. Oh, right. And so um, I used the mindset thing. Right. And just I, I, did a, I did a pros and cons sheets, all the things you don't want in uh -huh. a relationship, all the things that you do want. And then I went online looking, and I treated it almost like a job. Wow. I did, some nights I had three interviews. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. So I had fun. I like to have fun. Yeah, right. And, um, what you month were you born in, by the way? I'm a Pisces. Oh, you're Pisces? Oh, yeah. fickle yeah. fellow love. Huh? I'm a water son. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what I did, and, and <coughs> it was five and a half years ago, actually six years now, that Rudy and I met, and he was, he is from South Dakota, yeah, right. was living in Arizona, and uh, in the same town where my dad was at the time, so I was going there for the weekend, so I messaged all these guys on, in, in Yuma, Arizona, mm -hmm. and said, um, would you like to meet for coffee? Rudy was one of four that said uh, yes. Yeah, I met him, he, not really nice guy, but yeah, yeah, so I, we it. hit it off right at the bat, we had some things in common here. Yeah. Yeah. That, uh, you know, he's pretty cool, so congratulations. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you have been listening to the Entertainment First podcast where it's all about the music, and as you can see, it's all about even more. Thank you so much for being with us tonight, and once again, Miss Cheryl Rasher. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. With my co-host, Mr. John E. Williams, the I, I, king I. of Pepsi. Diet Pepsi. <laughs> Diet Pepsi. King of Pepsi. He's King quitting. of Diet Pepsi. Actually. He's quitting. He's quitting. quitting. He's morning. quitting right after this can he's got in here. <laughs> as soon as he finished that can, I think I, I think I saw him over a whole bunch of it in his car. He's not quitting.